you made an argument a minute ago that uh, uh, when a symbol is on a when a symbol is on a installation like on a wall or something that's bad, but it's you got to allow people to wear what they want. Mm. Well, when a when an employee who's on the job, especially a teacher, is wearing a religious symbol, it is just as influential as a crucifix or any other symbol hanging on the wall. And in fact, I would argue it's more influential. I mean, uh, the the person who is working for the state is interacting with people. And they're the center of attention, especially a teacher. Mm. The symbols that they wear are just as influential and probably more so than anything that's hung on the wall. The children in school, they're looking at the teacher. They're not looking at the crucifix of the wall all day long. They're looking at the teacher. And so it's very important that the, that the state employee uh, not display religious symbols on the job. So, uh, so you're saying a police and, officer, if they want to like, wear the Sikh uh, tur turban or a hijab, they can't, uh, if they want to wear that on, on duty, they can't. They shouldn't be they able to. They should not be able to. They should not be able to. No. Why? Because they're, because they're, they're indulging in uh, uh, r religious advertising, which is uh, a form of passive proselytization. They're showing themselves not to be neutral. Uh, even if they're even if they're they're neutral in their mentality, even if they're very liberal minded, it doesn't matter what's going on in their head. The point is they they present uh, an image which is attached to that religion, and um, many religions are very misogynistic, especially Islam, for for example. Many religions are very homophobic. Uh, they're not going to feel comfortable, and and they have good reason not to feel comfortable. And the solution to that is very simple: just ban the religious symbols while people are working on the job. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.